Hello and welcome to LA Just Fashion. I am Shamaki. Today in class we'll be learning how to create NDBI. Normalize differential built up index. So we're well you're going to go to raster and then you're going to go to unsupervised and you're going to go to NDVI. So you also change this to we change this to band eight, lands at eight, sorry not band eight, and then uh, this will be your output and you're going to name it ND. So let's go. So let's say this is NDPI. Now currently it's at vegetation index, but then we that's not what we're looking at. So we come down to we look at here we have normalized bond ratio, normalized differential built up index. We also have normalized difference glacier index. We have different normalized so you could explore all of these. We even have the water index as well. So you will take your time and look at all of the have small index. We have different index. So, but we're interested in normalized difference built up index. So you click on it. So it's because it's Lancet 8, it says it's using band 5 and band 6. And then We've already have our output here. So the next thing you do is you just click on OK. And you watch it processed. OK, and that's done. So you click Dismiss and you click Closed. So you can see how easy it is to do NDVI, NDPI, NDWI in Erdos Imaging compared to that of ArcGIS. So at the end of the day, we're taking all of this into ArcGIS to um, do the final processing. So let me go to ArcGIS for this very video and then I'm going to click on Add Data. So uh, I'm going to go to NDBI. Uh, we have our NDVI here. Let's use the NDVI. So I'm going to click on Add. So it's going to be added here. So once it's added, it only has the highest and the lowest value. But I'm going to right click and uh, I'm going to Properties. So in the properties, I'm going to go to Classified. So let's leave it at five classes and uh, you click on this side and you say format level. So I'm going to reduce this to three. So I'll click OK. So you see that the value becomes smaller and all that. So I'm going to go to color ramp and I'm going to make a selection of the color and apply and then look at it. All right, so um, let's make a changes to it. Let's add something like this and let's apply and see. So what if we sort the colors again and see? This color isn't going well for me. So I'm going to use this and then let's see. Because if you look at here, those with the minus, so let's sort it and see. I don't really sort. Okay, let's apply. All right, so the color is okay. 
but something is missing in for me. Let's see. Okay. Let's look at this. So basically, we have this um, value here, so we, which we can use this to um, produce a map, but that's not part of what we want to do today. So we can actually use this to produce the map of the NDVI of that location. But just to show you uh, what we need to do with it after we've gotten that, that's why I'm bringing this video. But then I have videos covering how you can produce map on ArcGIS and all that. So that will help you to get this easily. Then you come to ArcGIS to finalize the production of the NDVI maps and all that. So thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and always keep subscribing and keep supporting us if you're getting values from this channel. Thank you. Uh, we still thank you. Bye-bye for now.